Hi everyone, in today's speed build, I have something really exciting for you. Uh, it's exciting because this is done in collaboration with a whole group of creators. Um, as you can see on the logo here on the screen, this was a collab that we called the Green Lifestyle Collab because in preparation for the Eco Lifestyle expansion pack coming out, I was contacted by a fellow simmer who is such a kind and wonderful person, Lorna. Her Instagram handle is L91C Sims4, but I will be listing her and all of the other creators down below in, my, in the description box. So I'm going to be linking all of their Instagram handles and um, the ones that have YouTube channels, I will be putting down below also. And uh, so be sure to check out all of their videos or all of their accounts if you can. But so basically, um, uh, Lorna contacted me about this collab because she thought that it would be good for all of us to come up with our own creations that are eco styled or like have the aesthetic of the eco lifestyle expansion pack, but without using the expansion pack because with the idea that not everyone can afford all of the expansion packs or the new pack right away or anything like that, uh, we thought it would be a good idea to create things that are eco-inspired but with either the base game only or base game plus one other pack. So for me, I chose to do base game and get famous. And I was actually really surprised by the look I was able to accomplish just using those or just using that one expansion pack along with the base game. And, you know, uh, so I wanted to, my idea here is that I wanted to create an industrial styled home, but something that's industrial looking that's also eco-friendly. So I, I basically uh, just designed an industrial home and put a bunch of greenery like all around it. And I even put a lot of uh, plants inside, although, I mean, I put a lot more plants than I would usually put in one of my builds, but at the same time, like, after I was looking at everything when it was finished, I don't know if the inside is as green as I was hoping it would be, but I mean, you could always go back in and add more plants and stuff inside if you wanted to, but I did make sure that I used a lot of plants and trees and bushes and flowers and everything on the outside because I really wanted it to look like it was a home that is all about keeping the environment as green as possible around it so uh yeah so but if you if you go in to my gallery to download this for some reason it says that I use island living also but I went and I made sure that there wasn't anything from Island Living, so I don't really know why it's showing that Island Living was used also, but if you don't have um, Island Living and you do have Get Famous, you should still be able to download this home with no problem. Just always make sure that you turn on the bb.moveobjects cheat when placing any of my builds because I use, um, I do use that cheat when I'm building and I, you know, I have it so I can place things where normally you might be restricted without using the cheat so but yeah so the, this collab was done with I I believe a total of 36 other creators or simmers um so it, this is a really big project it, I don't know exactly when it was started but I've been working on it for the last two weeks and it's just been such a fun collaboration and everyone was so nice and so easy to work with and it was put together like it was so organized and really Lorna did such a good job of including everyone and communicating with us clearly and I really loved this idea honestly like it was so smart because I know for me myself like I didn't even get the eco lifestyle pack when I was working on this I actually just got it today and it was a gift from my husband as like a late Mother's Day gift so I really loved that whole concept of the fact that, you know, we wanted to give people the option of having eco looking things, even if they don't have the actual expansion pack. And um, so what we did was we filled up um, two worlds. It, it like we all chose our own lot and everything. And we created things to go on each lot in Willow Creek and Newcrest. So 
I had it a lot in Newcrest and you if you go to the hashtag in the build in the gallery the green lifestyle collab then you should be able to uh, see all of the builds that were created and if you wanted you could fill up those two worlds with all of the builds to have eco-friendly worlds <laughs> if that makes any sense i don't know if i'm explaining that correctly but yeah so basically if you wanted to to download every single lot that we created they should all fit perfectly on each lot that it was designed for. Um, you know, now that I think about it, <laughs> I don't know exactly which, uh, what the lot was called before I started building this. I want to say, oh my gosh, in Newcrest, I want to say it was like the cookout lookout or something like that. I'm almost positive, but, um, oh my gosh, I don't know, you know, now that I think about it, I don't know how we would even make it. I mean, I guess you just go based on the size, if that makes any sense, like the size of the lot. So as long as the size of the lot matches where you're going to put it, it should fit just fine. Like, um, like I believe this one that I'm doing is 30 by 20. So you could play, you could place my um, build on any lot that's 30 by 20. And so you could do it that way, like just um, match the size of the lot with the lot in the world that you want to put it at. So, but anyways, um, I don't really have a whole lot I want to say about this build aside from the explanation of what we were going for with the collab and everything. I just kind of wanted to jump on here and explain that so that, you know, I mean, one, because it's such an interesting concept for uh, a collaboration anyway, and I thought it was just a really great idea and I really wanted to, you know, um, give Lorna the, the credit for creating such an interesting collaboration and I, you know, I want to make sure that anyone that follows me, um, if you don't follow these creators yet, I want to make sure that you have access to their information so that's what I'm going to put in the description box below. Uh, please check them out, they're all wonderful people. Um, I've been in contact with quite a few of them uh, before this collaboration and they're all very kind and nice um, people to work with, uh, especially uh, Cadence is one of the creators who who went in on this collab and she was the person who I did my first collab with. So I think I'll link um, my first collab with Cadence up in the eye. And um, actually Lorna is the one that I did the Polly Pocket Shell Challenge for like or she, she's the one that created the Polly Pocket Shell Challenge and so I did that like a couple months ago that was when I first came across her Instagram account um so she's you know she's such a, a interesting and creative person and I highly recommend everyone that worked on this collaboration I recommend that you look at their accounts if you're a fan of the sims <laughs> so yeah but I just wanted to put that out there and I hope you enjoy this build I hope you enjoy the, con the concept of the build and I hope that you'll enjoy looking at the creations of the other uh, simmers that were in on this collaboration so um, I'm gonna leave you to it you can watch the rest of the build and please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions down below if you would like to but I will get going I have to hurry up and get ready to go to dinner later and I appreciate the support if you're watching this video and for your continued support please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet and I will try as much as possible to keep creating for you if you're interested in the things that I do create <laughs> so um but yeah I'm gonna get going I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.